Good day, learners! Welcome back for another visual lesson. Are you feeling good today? That's good! Now, are you ready to learn? Let us start learning. At the end of this visual, you will be able to add and subtract decimals and mix decimals through ten thousandths with or without regrouping. Let us start by recalling the place value of decimal and mixed decimal. When we say place value, it is defined as the value represented by a digit in a number on the basis of its position. Let us start with a regular number. Example, 345 which give us by group of ones, group of tens, and group of hundreds. Meaning, three in hundreds place represents three of one hundreds or three hundred. Four in tens place represents four of tens or forty. And five in ones place represents five of ones or five. How about the place value of decimal or mixed decimal? Example, 1.34. We read this as 1 and 34 hundredths. The place value on the right starts with tenths because after ones, the digits on the right are 10 times smaller. Therefore, 1 is in ones place. 3 is in tenths place, and 4 is in hundredths place. Also, don't forget that the decimal point separates whole number part from decimal part. Now, let us move in adding and subtracting decimal or mixed decimal. In adding and subtracting decimals or mixed decimals, we have to follow some steps. Step 1. Arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Step 2. Insert zeros in empty decimal place values, if needed, so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Step 3. Add or subtract as with whole numbers. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to all the given numbers. Now, let us have some examples. Example number one. Add five and six hundred and four and eight tenths. Step 1. Arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Step 2. Insert zeros in empty decimal place values, if needed, so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Step 3. Add as with whole numbers. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to all the add-ins. Now let us add 6 plus 0, 6, 0 plus 8, 8, 5 plus 4, 9. The answer is 9 and 86 hundredths. Example number 2. Subtract 13 and 57 hundred and 9 and 86 hundred. Step 1. Arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Step 2. Insert zeros in empty decimal place values if needed so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Step 3. Subtract as with whole numbers. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to all the given numbers. 7 minus 6 is 1. 5 minus 8 cannot be, so we will borrow 1 from 3. 
3 becomes 2 and 5 becomes 15. 15 minus 8 is 7. 2 minus 9 cannot be. We will borrow 1 from 1. 1 becomes 0 and 2 becomes 12. 12 minus 9, 3. The answer is 3 and 7100. Example number 3. Alan walked 5 and 122,000 kilometers on the first day. 8 and 6,023, 10,000 kilometers on the second day. And 7 and 348,000 kilometers on the third day. How many kilometers did Alan walk in 3 days? The keyword here is 3 days. We are looking for the total kilometers did Alan walk in three days. Solution. Arrange the digits in columns and align the decimal points. Insert zeros in empty decimal place values if needed so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Add as with whole numbers. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to all the add-ins. Now, let us add. 0 plus 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. 2 plus 2 plus 8 is equal to 12. Carry 1, bring down 2. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 7. 1 plus 6 plus 3 is equal to 10. Carry 1, bring down 0. 1 plus 5 plus 8 plus 7 is equal to 21. The answer is 21 and 723, 10,000. Alan walked 21 and 723, 10,000 kilometers in three days. Example number four. Annabelle has 100 pesos. She bought a slice of pizza for 35 pesos and 50 centavos. How much change did she receive for buying a slice of pizza? The keyword here is change. We are looking for the change of Annabelle for 100 pesos. The operation that we need to use is subtraction. Solution. Arrange the digits and columns and align the decimal points. Insert zeros in empty decimal place values if needed, so that all of the numbers have the same number of decimal places. Subtract as with whole numbers. Place the decimal point between the digits vertically aligned to all the given numbers. Let us subtract 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 5 cannot be. The first 0 beside 1 will borrow 1 from 1. 1 becomes 0. 0 becomes 10. We will borrow again from 10. 10 becomes 9. 0 becomes 10. And last, we will borrow again 1 from 10. 0 becomes 10. 10 becomes 9. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 3 is 6. The answer is 64 and 50 hundreds. Annabelle's change is 64 pesos and 50 centavos. Okay, learners, that's all for this video. I hope you learned a lot today. Always remember, Paul Halmos once said, To learn mathematics is to do mathematics. That's all. Goodbye and thank you.